Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're exploring the art of decoupage with a sunny twist using sunflowers. If you're looking to add a touch of brightness and creativity to your home decor, you're in the right place. Hi, my name is Katie from Lady Red Crafting. Grab your Mod Podge and let's get started. I found this tissue paper at Home Goods last month and I thought this would be a great product to use for decoupaging. So we're starting out with this wood piece that I have from the Dollar Tree. And I grabbed my Mod Podge in the matte finish and I'm going to go ahead and paint a nice coat of Mod Podge over the top of our wood piece. And because this is wood, I am going to go ahead and do a little bit thicker coat than I normally would just because it's a little bit more porous and I didn't do a coat of paint ahead of time. And by doing it this way, what we're going to do is we're gonna allow that tissue paper to just really soak into the wood. And this will make it look like it's part of the wood in the grain and less like it's on top of the wood. Now, once we have that coat of Mod Podge down, I do take my heat tool and I'm going to just give it a quick little assist in drying it. So that way it'll dry just a little bit quicker. And once everything is dry, I am going to place that piece of tissue paper right over the top and we'll use the iron on method with our piece of parchment paper and our little mini iron and we'll just iron this right onto our board. Now let's go ahead and remove that piece of parchment paper and I'm grabbing my zip sander, but any sort of sanding block or sandpaper, even an emery board would work. I sand down in a downward motion just to trim everything up so it looks like it's flush with our board. Now once our edges are perfect, I take that same zip sander and I'm just going to run that across the lines that are in the board to remove the tissue paper from those areas. And this is gonna make it look like this whole entire piece came from the store looking just like this. This looks amazing guys. And I don't think that my video shows it justice, but it, it looks like it's just part of the wood. Now I'm gonna set that aside for a moment and I found this snake at the Dollar Tree and I actually thought this would be a really cute pumpkin. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna remove the tail and the head and I'm gonna hot glue and wood glue the two end pieces that are left here and shape it in an ovalish shape like a pumpkin. What I found worked good for me is I put a tiny bit of that hot glue on one side and wood glue on the other. I held it in place for a few minutes and then I grabbed my clip and I'm just going to clip that for about an hour till it dries. And while that's drying, I take the head of my little snake here and I wanted to cover the eyes up. So I'm using some floral tape and I'm just going to wrap that all the way around the entire face of the snake. And once I have this whole thing wrapped up, I am going to come back around and I'm gonna paint this with my Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle. Now once our stem is completely painted and dried, we have all of our components to put together our piece. And before I glue anything together, I do place everything on our wood board here just to make sure I have everything positioned the way I want it. Because once you use that hot glue, it sticks really quickly, really fast. So you're not gonna be able to move it around. So you need to make sure you have your bottom piece of the pumpkin in a spot where you can still have your stem on the backboard. Now that we have our pumpkin glued to our board, I did want to add one last embellishment. So using my hot glue and a beautiful bow, I'm just going to add that right there on our pumpkin. And now our happy little pumpkin is ready to display. I love how cheerful this pumpkin and sunflower is. And I think this is a great piece just to brighten your day in the fall. To 
This next craft is simple, but maybe one of my favorite crafts I've made in a while. So we're starting out with this frame that I got at the Dollar Tree, a small wood coaster, a rub-on transfer, and sunflower tissue paper. Now, starting with the cute little coaster here, I'm just putting this on my board and I'm going to cut a half an inch off of each side. I do not want the rounded edges, so I'm just going to draw a line using my pencil and then using a razor blade, I go over the line that I drew. And I only had to go over this twice and it was able to just cut through enough that I could just snap off the piece. And once I have done this on both sides of my coaster, I did take my zip sander, or you could use a sanding block, and we're just going to sand down the edges to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And while we have a minute, I want to tell you about this fun playlist I'm participating in this month, Craft Your Stash, hosted by Tasha at Sunflower Tasha DIYs and Tiffany at Simply Blessed Crafts. These talented ladies and the playlist are linked in my description box below. And this month, there is a contest involved. So if you go down and watch the whole entire playlist, make sure to leave a comment for each of those creators and you will be entered for the giveaway. The full details and rules will be in my description box below. Good luck. And now let's get back to crafting. Now that we have a beautiful rectangle piece of wood here, I'm going to tape that down to a paintable surface. And I do want to do a faded coat of plaster paint on this. And to get that look, I am going to go ahead and just lightly dry brush over the top of this board. And once I have done a little bit of dry brushing with my paint, I take this adorable little squirt bottle of water and I'm just going to spray a few squirts on here and this will thin out the paint so it gives it a really nice faded look. Now once our paint has dried, I did grab my Mod Podge in matte and I'm just going to paint a nice coat of Mod Podge over the top of our board. And once that Mod Podge has completely dried, I lay a piece of our tissue paper over the top of our board. And I just center those sunflowers the way that I would like them. And once I have the position that I would like, I am going to grab a piece of parchment paper and using the iron on method, I'm just going to iron this tissue paper right onto the board. What this does, if you haven't done this in the past, is the Mod Podge warms up from the hot iron and then just allows for your tissue paper to adhere seamlessly to your board and when you're ironing it like this, you have no wrinkles. It looks flawless. So if you haven't tried this yet, I would definitely give this technique a try. And now to remove that excess tissue paper, I am using my zip sander, but you can use a sandy block as well. And I'm just gonna sand in a downward motion to remove the tissue paper. I place this back down on my paintable surface and using my Mod Podge, I am going to seal this in. Now for me, I have found that if I use less Mod Podge for sealing, it works better and there's less of a chance of any sort of bubbling or anything like that. But if you don't want to seal it with Mod Podge because you've had issues in the past, you may want to try a spray sealer. Those seem to also do well when covering up different papers when you're using Mod Podge to seal everything in. And now that our Mod Podge is dry, I am going to grab my Rub-On Transfer. And I wanna say a quick thank you to Robin at Crafts Unleashed. She sent me this over in a bundle of some fun craft supplies. And so thank you so much, Robin. I appreciate you sending this over. And if you haven't checked out her channel, I'll leave a link for her down below. Please go check her out and see what she's creating. She makes some fun things on her channel. Now, I love these rub-on transfers because they're just so easy to use. You just stick them where you would like to place them, use your popsicle stick, and you just rub until the image is transferred over to your piece. And now remove that transfer piece over the top and your image is there on your piece. If for some reason you don't get it right the first time, you can just place that piece back down and just try transferring it again. This one went beautifully and I did not have to do that. It just was seamless going onto my piece. 
Now I'm just gonna place this back on my paintable surface and using a very, very light coat of Mod Podge, I'm just going to go over the top of my transfer just to seal everything in. Now let's go ahead and put this together. I am going to go ahead and just hot glue this little saying right onto this fun frame. And this frame I did get at the Dollar Tree. It had a clip on there where you see that hole. And I broke that off on accident before. So, hey, now I have the perfect piece to use for my craft. So now that we have our hot glue down, I am going to place that sign right over the top and cover that hole. And you could leave this just the way it is. But I did decide that I needed a little bit more. So I did add a little raffia bow to the top just to go with the fall season. And wow, I love how this little sign turns out. This is such a fun piece for the fall. I like that it's cheerful and happy, but also gives you that fall feelings. And yeah, I'm grateful, thankful, and blessed for this little piece. And if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe or like button below. It really helps my channel grow. I appreciate it. Thanks. For this next piece, I have had this yellow vase sitting in my craft room for quite some time. And after I thoroughly cleaned this vase, I'm going to lay this vase on its side on my tabletop. And using some Mod Podge, we are going to paint a nice coat of Mod Podge on only one side of this vase. And while this Mod Podge is still wet, I'm going to grab my sunflower tissue paper and lay that over the top of our piece. And using a small piece of cling wrap, I am going to tap this down just to make sure everything stays into place. And once I'm satisfied with how the Mod Podge and the tissue paper is sticking, I am going to set this aside and let that dry for a little bit. Now, once this has completely dried, I grab my Mod Podge again, and I'm going to go over the tissue paper with the Mod Podge and seal everything in, and then let that dry again. Now that our piece is dry, I am taking my zip sander, and I'm just going to sand all of that excess tissue paper right off of our vase. And now that that side is complete, we'll flip this over and we're just going to repeat all of the same steps on this side. Now here is what our beautiful vase looks like. I just love how pretty the yellow is with those sunflowers. It gives such a fun, happy vibe. And there you have it. Three beautiful sunflower projects. I hope you enjoyed these decoupage crafts as much as I did. And if you're looking for more fun and creative craft ideas, be sure to check out our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, craft more, stress less.